the next thing you may uh, interesting is um, you may find it interesting is that um, you would like to know so if we buy the forward contract versus uh, you don't buy the forward contract is there any any uh, profit or loss if you buy the forward contract or not it means that uh, if you use a forward contract and uh, you don't do anything uh, you just wait until the future and you buy the product um, is there any possible profit or loss or not so uh, I will give you one example in the slide uh, 14 so that you can understand the idea behind this so the idea is, the, the example is that uh, on May uh, 2013, the treasurer of a company enters to the long forward contract. So remember, long forward, what does it mean? We buy the forward contract, right? Uh, to buy 1 millionth of pound in six months at an exchange rate of uh, 1.5532. Um, so it's come from this table, right? So you go to the six months, you can buy at this exchange rate. So they, we, I just use the same uh, exchange rate at the previous table. So could we continue? So it means that the company will need to pay uh, this exchange rate and one million. So if we time these two number together, we have uh, we need to pay this uh, amount, right? This uh, dollar in dollar for one million pound uh, on. Uh, November 6 so six months later right from May to November so what are the possible outcome at the end of the contract so it's mean that in November 6 what will happen so the possible outcome what does it mean it's mean that I want to compare between the uh, the cost if we pay by this forward contract rather than um, just wait until November 6 and pay in the spot market so the idea is that uh, we need to compare between the the forward price that we agree in this contract and um, the, the the spot price in the future so in November 6 uh, if we wait until November 6 and go to the extreme rate to buy uh, the only thing we can see is that uh, we can know the spot rate in that date right so um, we can do uh, we can do a simple comparisons between the forward price today and the future price in the future uh, uh, the, the future spot price in uh, November 6 so it's very uh, easy to draw a plot like this one so uh, this is a long forward positions right uh, so we are in this positions we have the K is a what K is uh, the um, de delivery price or the forward price in the contract so it will be 1.5532 yeah in the previous slide and we compare this K this uh, forward price with the uh, price of the underlying or the price of the pound at the maturity so I will denote it as a ST so ST is a spot price of the pound at the maturity date. So uh, we will compare this that one and this one. So if the uh, if the strain rate in the future increase, for example, is go to one point six, it means that the pound is an increasing value compared to the USD. So uh, for example, it uh, in that case the S will be like. At around here right so if from here you can draw a line into the our our profit line here you can see that uh, we will have some profit so what is the profit here is mean that, uh, um, we buy earlier at a very good price only 1.55 right and uh, it's give you some profit because uh, that, that price is better than wait until today uh, until November 6 because uh, if you wait until November 6 you need to pay uh, for one pound you need to pay 1.6 so in that case um, you for every pound you can get the profit uh, 
around 1.6 minus 1.55 so you can get around uh, 45 cent per pound so it's very good deal right so if you use a um, forward contract if you long the forward contract you can get some profit because uh, the price of the in the contract is better than the spot market in the future right however it's not only one way profit sometimes you can get the loss so what is a loss um, say for example the in the future the pound uh, is uh, decreasing the value because of some reason for example uh, the queen of the UK got the COVID-19 so do you know this news so this is one maybe one bad news for the market and uh, uh, the the power can decrease the value so uh, to 1.5 for example so we agreed to buy at a 1.55 here however the the future spot price can be here at this point at 1.5 and if we you come you draw a line from 1.5 to the profit line you will see that uh, the we will have the negative or the the loss in this contract what does it mean because uh, we agreed to buy earlier at a higher price compared to the future so uh, we have a loss so we don't know about this right at the time of uh, signing the contract we don't know that we in the future the spot price will be 1.6 or 1.5 we don't know however the only thing we know is that we can fix we can know exactly how much we need to pay in the six months later and it's better it's better for financial uh, planner because uh, you can uh, know the exact number you need to pay and you can prepare enough money to pay in the future so uh, that is a uh, the possible outcome if you loan the forward contract so think about all the side this is a short forward positions so think about you are not the buyer you are the seller so the story is uh, the same right you agree to sell to other people at 1.55 so your loss and profit is just a uh, totally opposite with the previous figure so if the uh, spot the futures the spot price in the future is 1.6 it's uh, too high but you sell too low but uh, in that case we will have the loss but if the profit if the spot price is a 1.5 uh is is lower than the agree price in the contract so in that case you sell at higher price at 1.5 you get uh, some profit here so the idea is very simple um the buyer and the seller i mean the long and the short positions we have a kind of a opposite loss and profit and the loss and profit we don't know at the time of signing the contract we we can only know that by the end of the contract and depend on the the price of the underlying at the maturity so uh, it's very uncertain but uh, anyway we can draw this kind of plot to think about this uh, and i hope that uh, you can read about this later to make sure that uh, you understand this uh, concept